hey guys this will be my last advice on the ui path certification playlist my only goal is that everyone who is reading through this playlist should have a certification at the end now we have spent almost two months we started in the month of september 70 days continuously we have posted content on our channel now after putting so much of effort what a teacher would expect is everybody who is utilizing this content genuinely should clear the exam and you have seen i have posted many such success stories on my youtube community tab many people half the way they haven't even got a chance to go through the entire playlist half the way 35 40 videos they have seen and they were able to clear the exam and you have seen so many posts on my linkedin on my youtube community i have posted and i'll be posting in the future too now there are few important last advices that i would like to give which is going to help you to clear the exam without any fear so what are those now let me write it down okay the very first point schedule your exam okay many people they will prepare but they will not take that last step to schedule the exam i am telling you if you have gone through half of my video still people have cleared it you have seen look at the dates when i have posted and now you have got a chance to go through the entire set of video just imagine how much wealth of knowledge you will have before even attending the exam leave about passing you should score high i am expecting somebody scoring 100 out of 100 okay practically is it possible or not is a different question but again with that attitude i want all of you to go for the exam so the very first point dare schedule your exam right how do you schedule your exam go and schedule your exam you have put lot of efforts you don't want to lose that time the amount of knowledge there in your brain fresh by just i will take another three months i will take four months all the preparation that you have done is going wasted right it's like you started planting a tree the plant is about to flower and you are not ready to put water onto it you are not ready to take some action on it so scheduling your exam not scheduling your exam is more like that you have to schedule your exam dare and go for it okay first point once you schedule your exam what are the important points i have told in the very first video what mistake i did i kept my exam the schedule time is very very important i am telling you the schedule time is very important now it it is a personal choice again however i would put my recommendation for you your mind has to be very fresh remember your exam will have very very lengthy questions so you have to read through the lines you have to read the graphics and finally you have to choose the right answers for that your mind has to be very very fresh you can't have a tired mind tired eyes and go for an exam so what i would recommend is let's say you know tomorrow i would like to give the exam i will sleep today i will get up let's say i'm getting up at let's say six o'clock or seven o'clock whatever time is yours after you get up in next three hours or four hours or five hours max you give your exam where your mind remains very fresh do not schedule it in the evening or the night because entire day what you will do you will again study so many things you wanted to study 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 and give the exam you don't need finish all your studies one day before keep calm Rem just tell yourself i have got enough knowledge whatever question comes i will answer that's all that's all you will not have to remember so many things and go and you don't have to if you have the concepts because the, those questions are most of them are conceptual based questions only when you know how it works you can answer so you don't have to really you know go with lot of uh, information on your mind you understood the concept you have an understanding go for it go for it you will clear the exam okay scheduling time is very very important okay third while you start reading your question right because i said the questions will be very lengthier you might find big big questions but not to worry they are easier easy to answer just that you should focus how it is written okay and very important that's why keep your mind very calm 
keep your mind very calm don't worry just focus read just think about that question nothing else think about the question read it line by line okay and don't over read i mean many times people will not for they'll simply read and they are not focusing again they will go up again read still they are not focusing again they will go up once again they will read don't do that be completely focused okay very important stay focused on the question nothing else you have to think okay your scheduling time keeping in the morning is very good when your mind is very fresh don't keep it after uh, after you wake up after 10 hours you are keeping that means you will spend that entire 10 hours reading something something and your mind will be very tired your eyes will be tired and you are giving the exam and you will not do good what i'm what is my uh, experience okay so keep a fresh time study everything one day before complete done no need to study again done just give the exam that's it keep your mind very calm and stay focused these are the very important points and the fourth is keep some time to review and this is only possible when your schedule time is proper your main main important point is you are staying focused and your mind is calm this is very important point now if you have a calm mind you will finish all the question and you can at least have 15 to minimum 15 minutes you will have or maximum whatever up to you you know 30 minutes to 15 minutes anyways you will have give some time to review in case you cannot review it's okay but give all your questions read properly and choose the right answer sometimes when people may not get time to review it it's okay that means you are completely involved in doing it it's okay but if you try to find at least 15 minutes i would say just to review what a end and be very very careful to review only those questions where you are not confident many people they might have selected a right answer in the beginning again they will read and they will change so be very careful only the questions where you had a doubt only review them okay don't review everything and keep on changing everything and then things will go wrong okay so if you follow this important points you know i'll be the one who will be eagerly waiting every day to see how many of you guys cleared the exam you can see i'll be posting on my linkedin on my instagram on my youtube community tab right so i'll be the one who will be very very because i know how much amount of effort i have to put to create a content which could help the community and with that you know the only expectation a teacher would have is how how people who have you utilize those contents how they are benefited okay so i have got a lot of expectation from all of you so please dare to schedule your exam please schedule a proper time that works for you ensure your mind remains calm and stay focused at least give some time to review at least 15 minutes or at least 10 minutes or at least 5 minutes to review few important questions and go ahead and submit okay and i'll be waiting for the congratulation certification okay i would like to wait and you know write a post for you to congratulate you for the certification so thank you guys thank you for all the support we will meet i will after this i will plan something else okay i am also planning to start some kind of a scripting language uh, for for the for all of you because nowadays during the interview also there are um, you know uh, i have heard a uh, lot of scripting demands are there so i will see you know i will start something around that which is going to help you uh, along with your rpa and if you have a scripting knowledge it will always be an additional benefit so thank you guys let's continue